Hi students, this is a quick review on uh, riveted joints. In this video, we are going to discuss the basic types of riveted joint, different important design parameters of riveted joint, and then we can wind it up with a certain usage of riveted joints. Often, uh, small machine components are joined together to form a larger machine part. Design of joints is important as that of machine components because a weak joint may spoil the utility of carefully designed machine parts. Mechanical joints are broadly classified into two, such as non-permanent joint and permanent joint. Non-permanent joints can be assembled and disassembled without damaging the components such as the threaded fasteners like uh, screw joints or keys and couplings etc. Permanent joints cannot be disassembled without damaging the components. These joints can be of two kinds depending upon the nature of force that hold the two parts. The force can be of mechanical origin, for example, riveted joint, joint formed by press or interference fit, etc. Whereas two components are joined by applying mechanical force, the components can also be joined by molecular force, for example, welded joint, braced joint, soldered joints, etc. Or sometimes the joints with the adhesives is also considered as the molecular kind of joints. Not until a long ago, rivet joints are very often used to join structural members permanently. However, significant improvement in welding and bolted joints has curtained the use of these joints. Even then, rivets are used in structures, ship bodies, bridge, tanks, and shells, wherever high joint strength is required. A rivet is a short cylindrical rod having head and taper tail. The main body of rivet is called shank as shown in this figure. Different rivet heads are used for various applications. Snap heads are used mainly for structural work and machine riveting, whereas countersunk heads are employed for shipbuilding where flush surfaces are necessary. Conical heads are used where riveting is done by hand hammering. Pan heads are required where very high strength is needed since they have the maximum strength but they are very difficult to shape. Riveting is an operation whereby two plates are joined with the help of a rivet. Adequate mechanical force is applied to make the joint strong and leak proof. Smooth holes are drilled or punched and reamed in two plates to be joined and riveted is inserted. Then. The head by means of uh, baking up the bars as shown in this figure. Necessary force is applied at the tail end with the die and the trail deforms plastically to required shape. Depending upon whether the rivet is initially heated or not, the riveting operation can be of two types. Cold riveting where riveting is done at ambient temperature and hot riveting where rivets are initially heated before applying force. After riveting is done, the joint is then heat treated by quenching and tempering operations. When it is required to avoid leak proofing in joints, additional process like cloaking and fullering of rivet is done over the plate as shown in this figure. Now we can discuss different types of rivets. The rivets are broadly classified into two lap joints and butt joints. Lap joints means a plate is overlapped with another plate as shown in this figure. Here you, you can consider this as plate number one and plate number two. We are going to rivet plate number one and two together we are going to join these two plates in this way that plate number one is overlapped with plate number two then we inserted a rivet over here and these kind of joints are what we called a lap joint. A lap joints are further classified into double riveted and single riveted. You can distinguish the difference between double rivet and single riveted by keenly looking upon its top view. So this is a top view for a lap joint. Here you could see this is plate number one and this is plate number 
2 and we are reverting this through a single line of rivet. If it is a single line of rivet, this is called as single uh, riveted lap joint. And uh, on the second figure, you could see instead of single line of rivet, we are adding a line extra for more strength. So these kind of rivets, what we called double riveted lap joints. And there is one more classification in lab join. Instead of this regular chain arrangement, sometimes we can go for zigzag arrangement as uh, seen in this figure. You could see these are two chain rivet, but uh, one line is a little staggeredly arranged. Here, this kind of rivet, what we called double riveted, since it has two lines, double riveted lab join zigzag arrangement or otherwise double riveted zigzag lab joint. The main point here is simply in lab joints one plate will be overlapped on other plate. Then we can move on to next type here after lab joint we are going to discuss the butt joint. The butt means end the end of two plate put together then join that is what the meaning of butt join here in this figure you could see we have a main plate plate number one and plate number two we need to join these two plates by means of rivet so in previous case we can overlap to plate number two upon or plate number one so in this case we are not going to overlap this instead of that we will put an additional plate below the master plate so below the main plate so this additional plate what we called the cover plate or sometimes the strap the cover plate will fixed below or maybe above the main plate and riveting will be done over the plates here you will get a clear cut understanding of bud well when you keenly look at its a top view here this is what the main plate one and this is main plate two and a cover is set up above those main plates so this middle one is what the cover and a rivet is arranged to join these plates together here you should remember one thing even though it has a two lines of rivet it is called as single butt because when you check any one of the main plate, it only contains a single line of rivet. So that these rivet, what we call single riveted butt joint with single cover or single strap. Sometimes if we need more strength, you can use different cover. So this is cover number one and this is cover number Two. The difference between these two rivets you could identify with this diagram. In the bottom one, we are placing a cover below and above that master plates. And these types of rivet, what we called single riveted double cover but join. And the previous one is a single riveted single cover but join. So that is the difference. As same as in lab join, there is a single riveted butt as well as a double riveted butt. In single riveted butt, you could see in this figure, if you take any one of the master plates, suppose I'm going to take master plate number one, within this main master plate, you could see two lines of rivet. So that why it named as double riveted but joined. So we have two lines of rivet on master plate one and another two lines of rivet on master plate two. So basically for a double riveted but joint will consisting four lines of riveting. And within that double riveted that may be single cover or otherwise if you place a cover above and below it may be double cover for in this case it is a double strap double riveted but joint as we discussed in previous case maybe you can change the arrangement of rivet as well if you change the arrangement in a staggered manner or in a zigzag manner you will get an arrangement just like in this figure 
and these kind of bird join what we called as the zigzag bird join because the riveted are arranged in a staggered or zigzag manner in this case if you put a two strap on zigzag but here we have one strap above one strap below so this is a double strap or a double cover zigzag bird join so based on the arrangement you can name the rivet according to the situation so here one thing is very important the naming of rivet the naming will depends upon how many straps that you are using the arrangement of rivet and the number of rivets within the main plate now we can have a quick uh, look on what are the important parameters of rivet join or what are the important uh, design factors when you consider riveted joint the first one is the pitch of rivet as marked in this figure this distance is what pitch so pitch is defined as the distance between two similar rivet within the row then uh, there is another factor you could see the difference between two adjacent lines of rivet what we call pb or the back pitch back pitch so back pitch is defined as the distance between two gauge lines gauge lines means when you draw a line through this single row of rivet this is what the gauge line and if you draw another line through the next uh, row of rivet it's another gauge line and the distance between two gauge lines what we call back pitch so back pitch will give you the detail how far you are arranging the different rows of rivet and suppose you are designing rivet in a zigzag manner rather than in the chain way if it is in a zigzag instead of uh, this ordinary pitch we are using pd or known as diagonal pitch so diagonal pitch is often used in case of a zigzag riveting these are the quick view on rivet if you learn these uh, simple points you could understand the design of rivet in a better way as always thank you for watching